Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will have more examples on the derivatives of composite functions. So, if we have a function y which equals x to the power 2 plus x negative 1 all of power 4. And we want to give the derivative of this function. So what we actually do is dealing with this function as it is a composite function. And this is the first function and this is the second one. This of the power 4 and this is the one inside the brackets. So what we do in getting the derivative of this function is very simple. We deal with the whole expression as a single term. So getting the derivative of this will be just we draw the 4 and we type it as it is and then 4 negative 1 gives us 3. This is our first part. So Dealing with the wall expression as a single term to get its derivative, so we don't change anything in this expression. The second part is dealing with the expression inside the brackets and getting its derivative. So we drop the two here, this one. We drop the two, we got x, here we got plus one and negative zero. And yeah, it's over. We got the derivative of this function. So it's very simple. We will have another uh, example. <coughs> so if we have y of power 3 equals x of power 3 plus x positive 1. And this is our function. We want to get the derivative of this. So we cannot deal with the y power 3, so we will put a copy cubic root on both sides of our equation to get y equal x to the power 3 plus x plus 1, and here we have a cubic root. We can put our function in the form that we have just mentioned by a way of typing this power in a different method. So we can write y equal x to the power 3 plus x plus 1 all of power 3rd. Because actually the power of 3rd equals the cubic root. Any number here over the root. If you want to write it in the power we type it as a fraction, 1 over the number. So this is 1 over 3. So we can simply now get the derivative. We have y dash equals, as we said, we treat this as a single term. We drop 1 over 3. Type the expression as it is without any change, plus 1. And we subtract 1 from this to get negative 2 over 3. Then we deal with the 1 inside and get its derivative. So we open our bracket, we draw the 3 to get 3x, three, 3 negative 1 to get a 2, and plus 1 negative or plus 0. So this is not written. And we close our bracket, and it's over. We got the derivative of this expression too. So it's just simple. And if you don't have a form, try hard to make your problem look in the form that we have just mentioned. That y equal uh, z of power 3, for example, or any expression of any power to uh, solve your problem. And uh, this is it for today, and uh, thank you for watching, see you next time.